What's going on guys? F32 Mick here. Today it's finally arrived. It's the last piece of the puzzle. Um, so as explained in um, my is it, video, is it now? Oh yeah, the bulb, uh, the bulb video. So the uh, break, LED brake light video. Uh, I did explain that I was getting an um, LCI uh, tail lights. Um, at that point, I had um, the full passenger side and then the inner tail light uh, for the driver's side. Um, I was just waiting um, on the outer driver's side to arrive. So today, that's literally finally come. Um, so I'm going to be retrofitting them today. Um, obviously, for the retrofit, all you're going to need is the lights itself. Um, so the um, outer ones um, on each side, they're just plug and play. Um, so it's literally just a case of taking out um, the um, current ones and then putting in the new ones. And then with the inner ones, um, there's a bit more work. So you need to uh, fully take them out. Obviously, I'm going to show everything. And then you've got, you need these uh, adapters. Um, obviously, if you want to save cost, then use these adapters because um, the full wiring heart, the full original BMW wiring heart is, goes for around 150 to 200 pounds um, I've seen and you know just for a harness just to make these lights work I think it's a bit of a ripoff. off um, so I found these on eBay um, this is it here so it's just an adapter obviously I'll go more in depth when I'm actually fitting them um, but you've got one for each side so left and right um, the pin goes into um, the tail light part and then this one will go into the new tail light um, so yeah and then you've got this little piece here that needs to go into uh, the rear electric module as well but as I said um, I'll show you guys everything in regards to that um, but yeah guys let's get on with the install so guys um, I've already started um, what I've done is just took out uh, the light because I had to do some work on this uh, because one of my pins blew out so I had to replace this so I already got the part from BMW in the week um, obviously just completed that now um, as I do it on the end of the video so that's completed I've tested it already it works and everything um, it was just the brake light pin that was burnt out so I had to just do some wire in there and then obviously fix that all up um, but yeah in terms of taking this out um, it's a nice simple step um, you see the screw here you don't have to unscrew it at all you can just pull and then so you pull it out push back and then lift up the screw in there and then you can just dash, dash that in there um, and then you've got these here so it's uh, the 210 mils um, that holds it in place along with like a little rivet thing here um, I'm just going to take that out now so like in my um, brake light video literally you just get a trim piece so let me show you I'll just do it with a cloth as well so a trim piece um, slot it over a piece of cloth Try it outwards like that while you're grabbing on um, to this piece here that I'm pulling it will literally just pop off. So I'm just going to do that now and then it should look like that side. Okay, so um, I just showed you obviously taking the light out. Um, now to disconnect this, give me that Lamborghini Ventador in the, in the background. <laughs> uh, but yeah, to take this out, what you just need to do is there's one, two, and three uh, clips that are holding this. So it's literally just a case of prying up and pulling up, and then prying it back. There you go. You can hear them disengaging and that. And then you just rock it, rock it. There you go, it comes out. Um, so obviously I'll just set this to one side now and then show you the next steps. Oh yeah, and obviously disconnect this as well. Forgot to mention that. I can't even do it with one hand at the moment. <laughs> but yeah, just disconnect that first. So um, this is a quick, um, obviously, overview of the um, outer tail light. Um, so it's just that. And then it's no bulbs, so obviously insects are all LED in the built-in. Um, just the normal connector, uh, you can't really see the, so if you can get some light, you can just see the pins in there. Um, so literally, um, you just put that into uh, that, um, let me just set this aside. Oh. 
get to see that. So you can literally just slot that in like so. That's in. Then line it up around the side first. Okay, so that's done. And then line it up so the grommet goes in. And then push. And there you go. Pour in. And that looks so good. So, so good. So guys, um, I've done that piece and that piece, um, so it's now to do the inner pieces. So, to obviously get all of this off, um, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight screws. Um, it's these ones are the little tedious ones, um, it's just a normal uh, Phillips uh, that you'll need. So you literally just unscrew, unscrew, and then literally pull out. So that's what they look like. Uh, so I'll just set that aside. And then it's literally just a case of taking them all out. That one needs a bit more. That's done. See what I've done already is I've unscrewed most of them just so I can just demonstrate this on camera and then with these just the Phillips don't know if I can take this off on camera I'll try yeah that's off and then this one as well if you can see it yeah that's fine so I've just screwed up So I'll just place that there. And now, uh, to get these off, what you need to do, if you have a look around here, um, there's these little things, these little clips, and um, sometimes you can just push in and unlatch it. Um, but what I always just do is, I'll just get a Phillips. Just take that out. get the Phillips from there just stick it in and pop and then pop again and then you just push them around like that as you can see and then lift up and that pops out like that and then you just repeat it uh, for the same side uh, for the other side sorry and then I'll just quickly do this off camera and then I'll show you how to uh, take this piece off. So guys, um, I'm gonna obviously take this whole piece out now. Um, so the best way to do it, or the way I do it, is I'll un unhook these first. A bit tedious. And then I'll push it down. And then where the handle is, there'll be a grab handle there. Just pull it like outward, so that way and down like that. So I'll just do it on this side as well. And then that will just pop out like so. Um, you won't have these wirings, this is just for a uh, reverse camera. And then to unclip it off, you can just pull it because the piece is separate there. So I'll just do that on this side as well. And then that's that piece done. So guys, uh, obviously I just showed you taking off the lid. Um, now to actually disconnect the uh, tail light itself, uh, what you'd need to do is look at this connection here, um, so it'd be looking like that. Um, all you'd do is press this clip in here at the end, you'll hear it click. I've already done that. So I'll try and do it on camera. And then, literally, just slot it off. And it'll just pop out, just like that. Um, so obviously, you'll just do that for both the tail lights. Um, then what you're going to need to do is with that bolt, with a look, uh, there's this bolt here, um, I think it's at 8mm, uh, you'll need to obviously unscrew that and then I'll show you uh, the next steps from there. Yeah. So guys, um, I've already snapped this out already, um, so the light assembly for this. Um, so for this, there's a clip here, you just need to pull. Um, 
that bit slots into there so just pull that down and then where this finger is here um, you literally press that in and then pull down that will unclip so you just pull that to one side and then with this if you have a look at the assembly if you have a look in here i don't know if you can really see if you can see it on camera let me try and get in there yeah so this piece here you just gotta push up on the light on the tail light so push up by holding here like that that will obviously take it out and then you can literally just take it away and then you've got the uh, tail light assembly there um, so you just repeat this step on this side so obviously I haven't yeah I haven't touched this piece so yeah you just repeat this step on this side and that will be both the tail lights out and once I get both the tail lights out, um, I'll be inserting the new ones and showing you guys exactly how to do that. So, um, I haven't fixed it in place yet, um, but this is how you put it in. So, you'll see the uh, rubber here that needs to go under the metal. Um, so, let me just try and do that for you guys now. I don't know if it's going to work with one hand. Yeah, it has. So that's in. And then. There's that piece, yeah, that you can see there next to the green marker, that hole. That needs to line up with the little marker. I'll just pull it out. That needs to line up with... Oh, God. That piece there. So, this one. I can't even get it. Yeah, you can see that little groove there. So, that needs to go into the hole. And um, so, you can turn that. So guys, I've had an absolute ball ache with putting this in, um, but obviously you learn, this is the first time me doing this, so the mistake I was making is this piece here, uh, let me see if you can see it on camera, yeah, this piece here where the bolt is, um, I um, seen a video on a F30 saying that you don't need to fully take it off, um, so I put it all the way down to the bottom and the light wouldn't clip in, and I just got so frustrated. Um, but I took it off after a while and it slotted in perfectly fine. Um, another way to tell is if you have a look here, what I had done is this bit here where my phone's touching, um, that was on the top piece of the bodywork, um, so it wasn't fitting in properly. So now, look, you can see it is perfectly uh, flush with the bodywork. Um, so yeah, that was less than one-on-one for me, um, just so you guys don't make that mistake now. Um, what I need to do now is obviously get the um, adjustment on it, so So guys, um, here is um, the adapter cable so slash harness uh, that you need. Um, so this obviously enables the inner tail light um, to work um, without changing literally all of this wiring. Um, so this piece here um, from your new tail light um, so that 
that goes into uh, the black piece. Um, so I'm just going to quickly uh, put that in. I don't know if you guys are going to see this on camera. I'll slot that in. Make sure everything lines up. Yeah. And that's in. So, you can obviously see that now. And then, that can just go in there like so. You just line it up. So this goes into this piece here. There we go. Now, with this piece, um, the seller has actually labeled this uh, perfectly as well. Um, I obviously done my research on you and uh, what I was doing anyway, but this wire goes to the um, REM, which is a rear electric module. Now that will be behind the battery, but obviously when I get all of this done, I'm going to show you how to hook it up. So it goes into the REM um, and it is pin 13. Um, as I said, I'm going to show you all of that, but that's how to wire up that part. So black on black, and then the blue goes into the connector, the main connector there. Okay, so um, I've removed the battery, um, as you can see. So what you're gonna need to do is get in here, and you'll see the white one with the black tab. You need to unlatch that. It's a bit hard to do. sitting there now there what you need to do is put like a flathead a small small flathead in there on each shot each side and it will pop out um, so I'll do that off camera and show you what it looks like so guys um, I've uh, taken that apart now so as you can see the cover for it here um, yeah, it's a cable itself so it's, it's I split it into two and it comes in one, um, obviously just in one block. Um, all you gotta do is slide it um, the arrow's way. Um, let me see if you can see the arrow. Yeah, you can just about see it there. So you just slide it that way and it will come apart. Now, if you have a look on here, it has the pins numbered. Um, so here you can see 17, so that'll be 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, and so on and so forth. Um, obviously I can see 26 at the end um, what you need to do is this is a good thing about uh, this seller as well he's literally labelled everything um, so this one uh, will go into pin 13 and then the other one if I can find the end here it is will go into pin 5 um, so you literally just got to slot them in you'll hear it clicking you'll hear a tiny little click uh, once it's in um, but slot those in once it's in, um, obviously slide it back up, put it in the housing, put it back into the rear electric module, um, and then you're ready to go. So I'll just do that for you now. So um, I've finally done it. Um, both of the pins go into um, the slot that's on the uh, left hand side when you actually take it out. Um, so as you can see, as I said, well, I don't think you'd see it properly, but this one's numbered one, two, uh, 10 at the front um, so you just need to put it in number five obviously it'll be blank and then you'll flip it over and then it will say 11 if I can get to see it'll say, it says 11 to 16 now you need you need to put it in pin 13 um, so obviously you just complete that slot it together put it back in the REM now so guys um, obviously I've sorted out the um, rear electric module situation so all those pins are in put the battery back it's literally now uh, just a case of piecing the car together um, and then you'll do some additional coding as well um, because if you left the car like this um, well depending what you had before as well um, if you haven't coded your car or never had uh, LED uh, bulbs fitted pr um, previously um, it would cause it to flicker so I did uh, turn this on uh, not long ago and um, the reverse light kept flickering um, 
along with the uh, fog light as well. Um, so I'm just gonna code that, um, get rid of all the uh, LED issues. Also, I'm gonna code it so the indicate the inner indicator. Um, so this here works as well because obviously I'm pre-LCI, it was just uh, one uh, indicator bulb there. Um, obviously I'll put all the codes in, um, in the description because um, it will just would be just a, a long process just showing you all of that um, but yeah I'll leave that in the description and then I'll um, come back to you and show you exactly what the lights look like so guys oh god it is finally done and it looks absolutely amazing um, I fully coded it as well as I said I'll leave the coding in the description for the coding um, I just delve into that anyway, um, so I did. So for the coding, um, all you've got to do is turn every all your bulbs to LED. So go into the rear electric module, load up in the code, rear electric module, um, to, um, turn all the uh, bulbs to LEDs, apart from uh, the license plate ones, obviously. Um, turn off uh, the cold and warm monitoring as well. Um, bear with me really quickly. Turn off the indicator. Yeah, so as I was saying, um, all the bulbs and um, LED, um, cold, um, cold monitoring and warm monitoring off. Um, once that's all off, uh, you shouldn't get any flickering or any sort of that um, at all. Um, and then for the inner tail lights, they're separate codes. I'll leave them down. You just have to jump to expert mode. I'll leave all of that in the description, uh, like I always do. But wow. This looks amazing. So, so good. So much better. So much better. I can't believe the way it's just changed the look of the car. Um, if you know me, I'm going to get them tinted anyway. So, yeah, it's going to look even more, <laughs> even better. Um, wow. Wow. Amazing. Um, so, guys, oh man, it's amazing. But yeah, thank you so much uh, for watching the video. I really, really appreciate it. Um, as I said, this has been something I've wanted to do for ages now. I finally had the opportunity to do it because um, I saw the lights individually for good prices. Um, but yeah, please, if you enjoyed the video, like, um, share, and subscribe. Um, I've got plenty more videos. I'd love, I'd love to retrofit a 6WB. Um, Fingers crossed I can get one um, in the not too distant future. Um, but yeah guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you in another video. Bye.